I feel like I still need a little bit. Ooh. You see, that's what happens when you play too much. Oh my God. All right, you guys, so welcome back to my channel. It is the summertime, okay? So your girl's wearing a lot of colors today. I usually don't wear a lot of color, but I feel like with the no makeup makeup look for the summertime, it just makes sense to do that. So yeah, I really love it. The hat, the shirt, all of that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show you guys my no makeup tutorial and the product that I use. Um, this is no foundation at all, just concealer and a bunch of other products um, that I use to get like this put together look but you're not doing too much. And you can honestly do this in like 10 or 15 minutes, you guys, and be out the door, okay? So if you're interested to see how I got this look, make sure you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, of course. And yeah, let's get into it and see, you know, what your girl was using on her face. Okay, you guys, so we're a little bit colorful today because I wanted to do like a no makeup makeup for the summertime. So I was like, let me just bring out the color and the vibes, all right? I never wear this much color, but I think it's kind of cute, so. Let's go with it. But I wanted to do my updated no makeup makeup routine. I have a lot of new products in here that I want to share with you guys and basically what I do. And with this no makeup makeup routine, you guys, I don't wear foundation. I keep it really simple and just spot conceal. So I want to share with you guys what I use on my face. So let's get into it. Um, the first and first is we do have the St. Jane sunscreen and primer in one. I recommend a sunscreen. It is too hot to not be wearing sunscreen. Like if you're not wearing sunscreen, you're playing yourself right now. So I already went ahead and applied this. I usually let it like sit on my face for like a good 30 minutes. Um, that way it's like settled in and it doesn't pile up as I apply my makeup. So I go ahead and apply this. And then also, because it is the summertime, I'm very oily. I also went ahead and used the Makeup Forever Shine Control Step 1 Primer in my T-Zone just to help my oils and, you know, all that good stuff. So this is what the face looks like right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start color correcting really quickly. I will say I have a lot of dark marks, you guys. I've been traveling so much. I was in Arizona. I was in London. And also, I was in Pennsylvania for like two weeks. Y'all, it's been crazy. So my skin, I notice when I don't sleep as much and I'm traveling, it breaks out. So that's why I have a lot of dark marks right there. So don't judge me right now. My skin is not the best, but we'll get back to normal. So I'm gonna take the color corrector and apply it underneath my eyes and just around my mouth. Nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna take a little blending brush and just blend this all out underneath the eyes and around the mouth and you really don't need this stuff but i just noticed when i use this alongside my concealer it looks a little bit more flawless so y'all can see how much better the skin looks you know obviously once you color correct just a little bit now i'm going to go in with some concealer you guys know i've been loving the fenty beauty we're even long wear concealer in the shade 445 n i believe it's kind of like coming off but I think it's 445 and we're gonna take this and what we're gonna do is just apply in the areas that need coverage I noticed my skin you guys the less makeup I wear the better it looks you don't need all of that sometimes so I'm gonna take this obviously where I have my dark marks which is a lot of it at this point and we're just gonna spot conceal okay and this concealer is really nice because it has a lot of coverage and a little bit does go a long way. So we're going to take this literally everywhere, you guys. And we're even going to take this around the mouth too. Okay. And then also underneath the eyes. So while that dries, I'm going to also take my Path McGrath concealer just because it's a little bit lighter. And we're gonna take this in the inner corner of the eye just to have like a little bit of brightness going on. So while that's setting on the face, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and just kind of like hydrate the skin a little bit. Mm. Yeah. So going in with my Refi Duo brush, we're gonna just start blending the concealer. Some people swipe like this, but what I do actually is I just pat onto the skin that way we're adding coverage and not taking away so we're gonna take this and just pat 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 and even i applied a little bit too much concealer like y'all can see it just goes a long way so use a very 
small amount. I'm just gonna tap that. And it just covers up my dark marks so well. Like this concealer, where is she? This one here, it is too good, y'all. Too good, like, too good. <laughs> and also, if y'all are wondering, I do wanna try the Fenty um, skin tint really soon for y'all as well. I saw it in Sephora and it looked really good. I'm like, all right, this is like the perfect product for the summertime. So I will go ahead and try that out for you guys. But for now, this is what I've been doing is I've been traveling and never fails. And people always think I have a full face of makeup. I'm like, no, like just concealer, and a little bit of powder. And I'm gonna spray in between again. And typically I don't spray this much when I'm doing a full face of makeup, you guys. But with this, I want the concealer to look like my skin as well because I'm not applying concealer everywhere. I hope that makes sense. Like it just hydrates everything to make it look the same all around, okay? So just keep tapping that in and blend it out. And then also you guys know, typically I use a sponge for like my base, but for this, I always use a brush just because um, it covers like my dark marks a little bit better than a sponge would, okay? Like y'all see how the skin is looking already. Like all those dark marks, gone. So I'm gonna let the under eye sit just for a little bit more. That way it has coverage. But we're gonna go into our NARS bronzer. This one is in the shade number four, Laguna number four. And I'm gonna take the stippling brush and just add a little bit of color around the cheek area, okay? That way you just add a little bit of like a bronziness to the skin. And sometimes to be fair, you guys, I do skip this step because I just apply a bunch of blush and I just look like sunburn. You know what I mean? But you know, sometimes I do want to add a little bit of bronzer. I'm just going to take this, apply it on the cheeks and then underneath the chin as well. So before we blend the under eyes out, I'm going to grab my Shard Tilbury airbrush finish powder in the shade tan number three in my puff. And I typically like to have a little bit of powder ready. That way when I blend it under eyes, you guys, I'm just going right in with the powder, okay? So we're gonna take this and just blend out like so. And then going in with the powder, I'm just gonna tap this into the skin. And it just looks really smooth, you guys, just with the Charlotte powder. Like, I love that powder so much. So let's go ahead and blend the other side into the skin, basically repeating the same exact steps. And then just patting the powder into the skin, you guys. And I'm taking the same powder and also setting my chin and everywhere else I applied the concealer. Okay, so already the skin, y'all, is looking good in my opinion, all right, just being honest. So we're gonna take the Makeup Forever powder, you guys know, I just, I love her, like, I love her, all right? We're gonna take this powder and like a little buffing brush, like so, this is the Morphe M439, in case you're interested, and we're gonna take some of this powder, you guys, but I don't go too crazy nowadays. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and just pat where I need it. So basically everywhere else that we didn't apply concealer, we're gonna apply this powder and just blend everything together. That way it looks like the skin is even, but you're not wearing a lot of product on your face. So just taking this and just patting into the areas that need it. And y'all see I'm using a light hand like I don't have a lot of makeup on right now, you guys. Just a light hand to blend everything together. So because I do want a little bit more of like a brightness underneath the eyes, I'm gonna take my Huda powder and we're gonna take some of this with my puff and just add this underneath the eyes just to give a little bit more brightness, okay? I'm telling you, it makes the biggest difference. Like y'all can just see right away what that looks like. I just pat into the skin. And you guys can see the difference of what it looks like. I feel like it just adds a little bit of something to the under eyes. And in case you're wondering why I use two powders, um, the Charlotte one, a pressed powder like this, preps the under eyes. 
whereas the setting powder just like adds the brightness and like the flawlessness to it so basically you just want to use a powder first to prep the under eye and get it ready and you want to use something very similar to your skin tone um it just works a lot better that way and then you add the brighter powder on top so once you're done with the under eyes and like setting you know the powders and all of that we're gonna move on to some bronzer i'm using the nars laguna number no. eight bronzer this baby here a little bit y'all goes a long way i don't know if y'all hear me all right this is so pigmented you gotta be careful so mm. all right so we're gonna take this and just swirl to give like that bronzer look let me blend this out a little bit more it looked a little bit crazy for a second there but i just add this all over the face just to make it look like you know i got a tan or something going on i like to swirl it underneath my chin and we're just gonna set the face again with the charlotte setting spray just to melt everything in so we got the skin looking good looking even now i'm gonna move on to my favorite part okay because i like to look a little sunburned so i always use the um rare beauty grateful liquid blush and the way i apply it y'all is kind of crazy i ain't gonna lie like when y'all see y'all gonna be like but it lurks all right so we're gonna take this blush and i really need a new one soon but we're gonna take this and i know it looks like a lot but i kind of like it like that and i take a stippling brush and i just pat this into the skin like so kind of like apply a little bit of it on my nose but you just blend it out with a stippling brush and i know some people say like you have to blend it out fast but if you have like one of these brushes you'll be fine so that's just what i do i feel like i still need a little bit Ooh. you see that's what happens when you play too much oh my god blend 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 same thing to the other side i'm just gonna blend this right in and i feel like it makes the biggest difference to me like the blush just eats like i can just get away with the concealer and the blush and i'll be fine to be honest with you guys but if you're trying to look like really put together then yeah follow this tutorial but if you just use some concealer and blush y'all it's still gonna eat so of course i'm gonna take some highlighter i'm using the refi highlighter of course um, you guys know that's the only one I use because I think it's just so gorgeous. I'm going to take out a sponge and we're just going to hit the higher point of the face like so. I mean, like what's a no makeup makeup tutorial without, you know, some highlighter? I feel like you got to glow a little bit. Yeah, this eats so bad. And then last but not least, y'all, I keep it so simple. I'm going to use the Summer Fridays lip butter balm in the shade cherry i don't even know what i'm trying to look i should know it by now in the shade cherry and we're just going to take this all over the lips all right so this is the entire look i hope you guys enjoyed this video very simple you guys very easy if you're like in a rush this is like my go-to makeup all the time it still looks put together but you know it's really fast okay then doing the whole foundation and all of that and also it's perfect for the summertime because it's not a lot of product on your face so if you do try it out let me know your thoughts down below let me know what you think of this entire look all that good stuff and before you do leave make sure you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next one